morning children so it's time to start with the studies now and uh, in social science today we are going to learn about uh, the globe a model of the earth so in the previous classes we have learned a lot about our earth uh, our earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system okay our earth is the third nearest planet to the sun our earth is the only planet on this solar system which supports life <coughs> isn't it yeah in the previous classes we have learned all these things and uh, uh, we have also learned that the shape of the earth is almost a spherical one so this earth which has got a lot of features like seas oceans rivers lakes uh, mountains plains plateaus forests deserts ice packed regions this beautiful earth that we have is the only planet that supports a life on the solar system long ago very long ago uh, people believed earth as a flat body they never believed earth as a round body see the problem is when we look on this earth and when we look around us we can see all everything as a flat body right only when we look at this from a distance moon also is a very big body a heavenly body as there is a very long distance in between the moon and the earth we can see moon as a round object because we are watching from a bigger or a very far away distance in the same way if we look at the earth from a very long distance say from the space or uh, if we get a chance to go to the moon and look at the earth from the moon then again our earth will be seen as a round object right the problem is in the ancient days these people never had technology right they never had any technology to prove that the earth is round right uh, about 450 years ago about 450 years ago there was a polish astronomer his name was Copernicus so a Polish astronomer Polish means it's not the Polish that we are playing on the shoes okay Polish means one who belongs to the country called Poland <coughs> okay a person from the country called Poland is called a Polish astronomer means astronomer is a person who study about the sky the stars the heavenly objects and all okay so an astronomer is a person who study about the stars and the heavenly objects over there and uh, this man belonged to the country called Poland and that is why he is known as a Polish astronomer and his name is Copernicus okay so there was a Polish astronomer called Copernicus who said earth is not flat, it's round. He said earth is not flat, it is round. But nobody was ready to believe it. Nobody was ready to believe it. They said this man is spreading false uh, uh, things among the people they arrested him they punished him and asked him to change his statement see 
he was a person he was a studied person he was a learned person and he had been uh, observing things for long years he had even made a crude model of a telescope also okay but nobody was ready to believe it he said he won't change his opinion what he says is truth and he was killed the people the court then killed him for spreading false things among the people okay so copernicus couldn't prove the statement that earth is round and he lost his life that was the way the people believed that the earth is flat so after copernicus had a sad end many years passed and there came an italian scientist and astronomer okay so he was both a scientist and an astronomer his name was galileo galilei l e i okay so his name was galileo galilei and he again came up with the same statement what earth is not flat earth is round he made the first uh, refined model of a telescope also but uh, the things were the same the authority the ruling authority over there they were not ready to accept his statement okay so for spreading this fact that what copernicus said years ago is right the what is that earth is not flat it's a round for spreading this particular fact galileo also was arrested and taken to the court so judge gave him an option what was that if you change your opinion you can go out if you do not change your opinion you will go what you also will be Killed. Okay, so Galileo, what he did was he thought wise. See, if I accept or if I do not accept, it doesn't matter. What Earth is round, isn't it? Huh? Whether we accept it or not, it won't change. Do you think if Galileo says Earth is not round, Earth is a flat, will Earth become flat? No. Earth will remain the same, but these people around me, this authority, this government, this a court, they are not wise enough to understand what I have seen. So they are foolish people. So why should I lose my life for the foolishness of some people? Why should I? He said, okay, if you want to believe Earth is flat, okay, then I will say Earth is flat. No problem with that. Right? and he came out alive and what did he do then he took his telescope to the sea shore right he took the telescope to the sea shore kept it over there and started showing people that earth is round how how yeah when we look at the sky, into the ocean okay ships will be coming to the harbor na yeah so when the ships come up what happens the topmost part of the ship will be seen first and the later part will be seen later why is it so because of this round he started proving people there was nothing else to be done right so he was the second person to declare to make it as a statement that the earth is a round and not a flat galileo galilei uh, you can see in this picture galileo galilei took this uh, telescope to the sea shore and started showing the people that the earth is round that is why when we look at the ships through the telescope the ships in the sea we can see the topmost part coming up first and then the remaining part of the ship 
Okay, and later there was a sailor. There was a sailor. His uh, name was uh, Ferdinand Magellan. And that happened in the year uh, 1522. So by the 16th century, people had started you know, organizing some voyages through the sea in search of new land areas. Because the people in Europe never knew there is a continent called Africa. The people in Africa never knew there is a continent called Asia. Right? Okay, so they started organizing small voyages in search of new land areas and uh, we know uh, Vasco de Gama founded the sea route to India, isn't it? So the British ships on the European uh, countries started getting, setting voyages to the different regions in a, uh, establishing some trade links and all. So at that time, Every people, see for example, if this is a globe, and uh, here uh, we have uh, America, and here we have uh, Europe, and uh, this is Africa, and this is India. Okay, so all this European country, these people were organizing the voyages in this way to the east this is east and this is a west okay now what Magellan wanted to do was he wanted to prove earth is round okay so what did he do he traveled west right he traveled westwards surrounded the globe and came back Okay, so he went around the globe and he came back to the same place from where they started. They started the voyage from Spain and he couldn't come back because he lost his life when he was somewhere near this Malaysian Philippines region. But his team, his friends, his other sailors continued the journey and they came back to Spain. Right? That was the first time actually the people started to believe Earth is a round in shape. Now there is no such issues. Now we have got rockets and uh, uh, what we call these uh, satellites, artificial satellites around the Earth. Okay, again uh, we can take pictures. Whenever there is a space mission, whenever these satellites go up, they take the images of the earth and it has proved very well that earth is a rounded shape. When Neil Armstrong and uh, Edwin Algen went to the moon, again they took the pictures of earth from there and from that also it is proved. So now we have got technology, we have got a technology to go to the space take images from there which can be used easily to prove that uh, the earth is not a uh, flat it's a rounding shape okay so these problems were there when there was no sufficient technology to prove that uh, earth is a uh, round okay so the first person to declare earth as round and not flat was the polish astronomer copernicus and then Galileo Galilei, an Italian scientist and astronomer, declared Earth as round. He even used it as a telescope to prove to the people that Earth is not a flat, it is a round. In 1552, Ferdinand Magellan, a Portugal sailor who started his journey from Spain, proved Earth is a round. Nowadays we have a technology to go to the space and to take pictures from there which have proved that Earth is a round in a shape. Okay? So as uh, science and technology developed, uh, we had a kind of eagerness to study a lot about the Earth. 
Okay, we wanted to learn, we wanted to study, we want to know a lot about the earth. So uh, it was quite difficult because of this huge shape of the earth. It was quite difficult. So they wanted something that is comparatively small, but we can have almost all the features <coughs> on that. Right? So then we got this thing called the glove. Okay, so globe is nothing but the